This is a video for AQA Further Pure, complex numbers 5, complex roots, 5.1, solving z to the n equals 1. Solving quadratic equations was covered in a previous video. You should know that these have two roots. They may both be real, as in the diagram at the moment. They may be repeat it and as I bring the curve up towards the axis they may be repeated and we get a repeated root here at 1 0 or they may both be complex roots and if they are complex roots they occur in a conjugate pair so in this situation the quadratic does not cut the axis so we get two complex roots Two complex roots, a repeated root, two real roots. So if we want to solve the quadratic equation, z squared minus 2z plus 5 equals 0, you can see here by completing the square, I get down to two roots for that equation, 1 plus or minus 2i. Complex roots from a real quadratic equation will always occur in conjugate pairs and we denote them z and z star. Note that either of the two values could be chosen as z with the other one being its conjugate. You should also have solved cubic equations to find three roots, some of which may have been complex. And if we look at a cubic like this one, that will have three real roots, whereas one like this will have only one real root, and then we'll have two complex roots again occurring as a conjugate pair. In fact, every polynomial equation of degree n has exactly n roots. Some of those may be complex, and if they are, they occur in conjugate pairs. Let's have a look at one of the simplest polynomial equations, z squared equals 1. It has two roots, z equals 1 and z equals minus 1. If I show those on an Argand diagram, they'll appear here and here. For z cubed, again showing them on an Argand diagram, I get them here, here, and here. And their values are 1 and minus 1 plus or minus root 3i all over 2. z to the 4 has 4 roots, plus or minus 1 and plus or minus i. And again on an Argand diagram, those four roots are spaced equally around a circle of radius 1. The simple equation, z to the n equals 1, has n roots, and one of those roots will always be 1. If n is even, however, there will be another real root at minus 1. All the other roots will be complex numbers which can be shown on an Argan diagram. Let's have a look at this plot here and see what happens as we change the power of n. If I go back to n equals 2, you'll see I get two roots, one at 1 and one at minus 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm always getting a root at 1, and for the even numbers, 6, and 4 and 8, I get another one at minus 1. And then the complex roots appear in conjugate pairs. There's actually a mirror symmetry about the real axis. These two are conjugate pairs, these two are conjugate pairs, and these two are conjugate pairs. Notice that all of the roots lie on a unit circle and they're evenly spaced by the same angle 
around that circle. The next video in this sequence is 5.2, the nth roots of unity.